an eclipse occurred in Africa and Asia on June the twenty-first. Mainland China and Taiwan saw a circular eclipse, and a partial eclipse was seen in Hong Kong. Many Hong Kongers gathered at the waterfront in Tim Sa Tsui to watch this rare phenomenon. It began at two thirty-seven p.m. and ended at five thirty-five p.m. Modern people view eclipses as a natural phenomenon, but ancient Chinese culture considers it a warning from heaven. Book of the Later Han, also known as Hou Han Shu, written in four hundred forty-five A.D., says that the eclipse signals the biggest change in the cosmic climate. The Book of Rites says that an eclipse is a warning for unkind politics. Hou Han Ming. Senior Feng Shui Master and Lecturer at the Hong Kong University School of Professional and Continued Education says that eclipse foretells that an international political power will fade. The eclipse will affect people's judgments. Therefore, for some leaders whose fate and luck are on the decline already, their judgments will further deteriorate as a result of all of the unusual disasters such as the pandemic. According to Ho. People who aimed for political capital and weren't in touch with the society proposed the Hong Kong national security law. A wrong decision on this matter will bring bad consequences, not for Hong Kongers, but for the ones who made the choice to push for the national security law. The outcome may not be what they were hoping for. In fact, it may be "quote unquote" completely the opposite. The outcome may be that the economy will slide further, and more officials will be sanctioned by other countries. Ho says that one needs to understand the relationship between heaven, earth, and people. The eclipse reveals the cosmic climate. The pandemic sends the signal from the earth, and the national security law is a man-made disaster. With all of these simultaneously hitting Hong Kong, it sounds like a perfect storm. But Hong Kongers will survive," says Ho.